Welcome back to AP U.S. History. This is part two in chapter 14, talking about manifest destiny. Uh, this term uh, seems to be centered around 1844. Um, millions of Americans in the 1840s and 1850s believed that we were a chosen people destined to control the Western Hemisphere. We felt that we had uh, the best uh, government, uh, the right kind of a religion. We were mostly Protestant. Uh, certainly had the technology. We had the know-how. We can do it. Uh, and we're going to expand from sea to sea. Uh, certainly land uh, was a motive and it joined with ideas and those two make a lethal combination. Uh, we're justified in taking from those who already possess it, which were the Mexicans and the Native Americans. Uh, Thomas, eight, Thomas Hart Benton uh, was a leading proponent of expansionism, free land, and internal improvements. Uh, he believed that we should do this because it was our destiny. Of course, we talked about John L. O'Sullivan coming up with the term. Um, the movement really began with Jackson and Van Buren and removing Indians and pushing them further west. Uh, James K. Polk, Young Hickory, kind of a euphemism, a, a reference to Jackson, um, believed in expansionism. Uh, he was a Jacksonian Democrat. Uh, his slogan when he ran uh, for president was 5440 or fight. He wanted to uh, annex Texas, uh, and if the uh, British government wasn't willing to hand over the Oregon Territory, which we jointly occupied, then we were going to go to war with them. Uh, Henry Clay uh, ran the election but avoided the Texas issue, which cost him the presidency. Uh, the Texas issue basically was we were going to let Texas into the Union, and if we were, was that going to upset the, the slave and free states? The Liberty Party, the first party created uh, for anti-extension uh, of slavery in America, uh, James Burney was their candidate. Again, driving a wedge between the North and the South. Uh, Polk will win the election. Uh, he claims, as most presidents do after you win an election, that uh, that expansion was in the cards. Uh, he had a four-point plan, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, he did lower the tariff from 20, 32% to 25%, uh, which made the South happy about that. Uh, there was a restoration of the independent treasury system, which seemed to divorce federal funds from the state banks uh, to make them a little more secure. Uh, he wanted to acquire California, uh, and he wanted to settle the Oregon dispute. Uh, a memory aid to help uh, with Manifest Destiny is Tom, Texas, Oregon, and Mexican War. These were important issues during his presidency. Uh, Coyle, uh, a memory aid for President uh, Polk's uh, when he's into the office, uh, California, Oregon, independent treasury system, and lower tariffs. These were some things that he's going to try to accomplish. Now, the Oregon Territory, again, we're kind of upset with the British because we don't want them in the Oregon Territory. We feel that we have a right to this, and uh, they're going to have to get out. Uh, there were four countries that claimed... Uh, territorial rights here, Russia, Spain, Great Britain, and the U.S. Uh, of course, the uh, Lewis and Clark expedition gave us a claim. Uh, John Jacob Astor, Astor uh, gave us a, a claim to this area because he ran a fur trading company, an American fur company, uh, and took uh, beaver pelts from this area. And this will run from the Great Lakes to the Oregon Territory. Uh, eventually, Spain will give up uh, its claim to the Oregon Territory uh, because of the Continental Treaty of 1819, uh, uh, and we'll settle the border between ourselves and Spain. Uh, the conflict with Russia, uh, Russia will eventually give up on the Oregon Territory because it's just too far from, 
from where they're located. They did establish a fort, Fort uh, Ross, uh, just north of San Francisco. Uh, here shows a picture of the Oregon Territory, or the Oregon Trail. Kind of one of those uh, painters from the Hudson River School of Art. Uh, the Monroe Doctrine, uh, of course we know, uh, said that we didn't really want anybody else uh, creating new territories. If you were a, a European power and you had a territory in the Western Hemisphere, fine, but we didn't want any more uh, claims. Um, the Russians retreated to 5440 and they said, well, this is our bottom uh, boundary. Um, and then the United States and Great Britain will have sole possession of this area. Uh, American immigration on the Oregon Trail, they're going to, uh, people are going to go west uh, because of the uh, lure of uh, free land. Uh, people like Jedediah Smith blazed the trail and others followed. Here were some of the trails westward. Uh, the Mormon Trail, you can see the Santa Fe Trail, uh, the Pony Express route there and the dotted and the dark, uh, kind of the brownish uh, color is the Oregon Trail, leading to uh, what now is uh, Fort Vancouver on the Columbia River. Uh, this uh, graph shows uh, the number of people moving west between 1840 and 1860. About a quarter of a million people will make the trek. Uh, Southerners were happy with Texas annexation. Uh, that's going to come uh, in Polk's uh, presidency. Eventually, we'll settle the, the boundary with Great Britain and we'll establish the 49th parallel as uh, the boundary between the United States and Canada. Uh, so the U.S. will settle the Oregon Territory by diplomatic uh, means. Polk didn't really believe that he could fight two wars at the same time. Uh, and things are going to heat up between the Mexican government and the United States. Um, we have designs of buying California, but uh, the Mexicans aren't interested in selling. In fact, they won't even hear our em emissaries or ambassadors. Um, now, the Oregon Terry didn't necessarily make uh, the Oregon Territory didn't necessarily make uh, Southerners happy because this area uh, is above that uh, 3036, the Missouri Compromise Line. Uh, so that means that there'll be perhaps be more free states being carved out of that territory. Now, Texas independence, a uh, couple of key figures, Sam Houston and Stephen Austin, uh, they will uh, work for independence in 1836. Uh, initially, the Mexican government invited Americans, about 20,000 of them, uh, into Texas to help settle the land. And one of the conditions for coming there is that you had to agree to become a Tex or a, a Catholic, and you had to swear allegiance to the Mexican government. Eventually, the Mexican government and the Texans are going to have some conflicts, particularly over slavery, because the Mexican government is going to outlaw slavery. And there's quite a number of Texans who don't want to give up their slaves. And they really don't see themselves as Mexicans. And most of them did not uh, embrace the Catholic faith. Uh, you went essentially the moral of the story is that you let white Americans into your territory, there goes the neighborhood. And so the Republic of Texas is going to be founded uh, because of the war between uh, the Mexican government and the Texan fighters. Uh, eventually San Jacinto, uh, San Ana, who is the dictator of Mexico, will be defeated. But before that happens, uh, the Alamo in San Antonio of course, Davy Crockett, uh, he's going to die there, uh, along with Travis and others, uh, fighting the Mexican army. This shows the Battle of Alamo. And all the defenders uh, were either killed or executed uh, when the Mexican government took uh, the fort. Uh, Texas wanted to become part of the United States after they won their independence from Mexico. Uh, but America wasn't ready because the North feared that if Texas came in that it would upset the balance between 
uh, free states and slave states. So we're going to wait uh, nine years, and Texas is going to be its own independent republic. Uh, but eventually, uh, we will annex them into the United States. Uh, Mexico had refused to recognize Texas independence since 1836, although Santa Ana had signed a, an agreement saying that uh, Texas was a free and independent country. Uh, Mexican government threatened the U.S. if they tried to annex Texas. Uh, Texans feared another war with Mexico because they were vastly outnumbered. Uh, Texas became a leading issue in the presidential election of 1844 uh, between Polk and Clay. Again, the opponents, the Northerners, feared an expansion of slavery. But uh, the Southerners supported annexation. Uh, annexation. Um, Tyler joined the resolution in Congress for an annexation, and it has to be approved by the Senate. Uh, of course, the Mexican government claimed the U.S. had unjustly taken te Texas and refused the annexation. Uh, it uh, is accepted, and now Texas is part of the United States. Uh, ta uh, Polk was also interested in acquiring California because of San Francisco and its great seaport uh, to fill out the United States. Uh, he saw California as a gateway to the Pacific trade with China and India. Uh, Texas annexation issue caused Mexico to sever diplomatic relationships uh, and there's going to be a dis boundary dispute uh, between uh, Texas's claim that uh, the Rio Grande is its southern border and the Mexican government claiming that Nueces River uh, was the boundary. Uh, we're essentially going to pick a fight with Mexico and we're going to prevail, and we're going to take a big chunk of their nation. But being the nice folks that we are, we're going to pay them $15 million for that. Uh, Polk uh, sides with the Texan border, and he says, you know, I'm going to send some troop down there, and maybe we're going to pick a fight. Uh, the Mexicans less concerned about the boundary. They want to take us back. Uh, we're going to send some people down there to... Uh, demand that Mexico pay us $3 million in t uh, to U.S. citizens for property damage. Uh, Mexico had formally agreed to pay the damage, but later rescinded because it didn't have the money. John uh, Slidell will go to Mexico City in 1845 with uh, money in hand, $25 million, for California. Uh, the Mexican government says, no thanks, uh, and pretty much sent him packing. Uh, the Mexican recognition of the Rio Grande, this is what he's, he's trying to get them to agree to. Uh, we'll stop right here and pick this up next time in part three.